entrepreneurs and martial artists face a similar journey. That journey begins with selecting the right master. When I began studying Chinese San Da or Chinese kickboxing, it started in 2001 in Nanjing, China. I began studying with a number of professional fighters out of a fight gym. And as martial arts goes, you meet more and more people. And I started to study at more and more gyms and at more and more locations with people at parks. And I learned more and more skills. I felt faster. I felt more powerful. And I felt like I was beginning to understand the basics of Sanda. In 2006, I met Mr. Wong, or in Chinese, Wang Shifu. What, Miss, what Master Wong, as he became my master, taught me was that to become a great martial artist, you have to focus on the complete capability. He saw my improvement in kicks and punches and power and speed as a positive. But his focus is, was on my weaknesses. Where did I, from a core level, from a foundational level, need to improve so that I would have a platform, a strong platform to move forward as a complete martial artist? And what he saw was I was focusing too much on muscle, strength, or the yin. And instead, I needed to learn the yang, the flexibility, movement. And that's what he had me do, was learn Tai Chi. Through Tai Chi, I began to learn hip coordination, better footwork, and I became more relaxed. This was where I began to understand that a master is someone who's focused on the student's capabilities and leading them down a customized path that only that student will understand. The, the path of a martial artist is unique to that individual. In entrepreneurship and in business today, there are many people that can teach you on Instagram or on Facebook as influencers skills. However, don't mistake these people as influencers for a master because these people are unable to communicate with you understand you and lead you down the path that makes sense for your development. So as you enter the game, remember, selecting the right master is the key first step.